in the French Market District, six historic blocks of retail and dining in the French Quarter. They offer a variety of shopping and dining experiences, complete with live music and local produce, artwork, jewelry, and gifts. Open daily. Find special event and parking information at FrenchMarket.org. Board and welcome to Stepping Out, spotlighting the New Orleans area's arts and entertainment scene. Seated at our table tonight, Cheryl DuPont, Executive and Artistic Director for the New Orleans Children's Chorus. Hey, Cheryl, welcome to our table. Thanks, Peggy. Great to see you. Poppy Tucker, host of the WWNO radio program, Louisiana Eats. Hi. Hi, Peg. And it is a night of music. Pianist, of course, and composer Armand St. Martin. He's going to play for us a little later. Hey, Armand. Looking forward to it. Great Thank to see you. you, sir. And Alan Smason, editor of the online Crescent City Jewish News. And happy birthday week. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. All sorts of exciting things in people's mailboxes this week. Fine Cooking Magazine arrived. Big, beautiful national publication. And I was in a shoot of movable feasts that they girl. did. And Aww. so there's a three-page spread mm -hmm. of where I think you should shop and eat and stay uh -huh. and drink and oh, have fun beautiful. when you're in New Orleans. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, Look at this center. Congratulations. Is, yeah. So Just anyway, thank you. Uh -huh. Everybody honor. needs to look for that copy. Yeah. Yes, that is me. And now we're going to do some restaurant talk. And you know, new things all the time. If you love Korean food, there is a wonderful new pop-up, Soul Shack Pop-Up, Tuesdays at Three Muses. Now, a lot of people might not know that uh, Dan Essies, his partner is Miss Sophie, who plays at the Spotted Cat on Thursdays. You might know this. And yeah. the food is great. And so, for instance, here we've got Mondo Beef Triangle Egg Rolls. There's the Bibimbap Rice Bowl with Sunny Side Up Eggs. You say that so easily, I'm impressed. Yeah, that's something with choice of beef, tofu, or pork. And if you are thrilled by the food, just stay tuned because they're going to be opening up a Soul Shack, a permanent one, in the Dragon's Den on Esplanade oh. Avenue in October. That's the plans. And then expansion for Maple Street Patisserie. You know, we're all big fans of that delicious pastry. Well, they have opened up two new businesses in the past few months. The original locations there on Maple Street, but now, um, right there on Earhart Boulevard, open seven days a week. There's the Maple Street Patisserie and Bistro. And the chef there is Chef Scott Mackey. He's doing delicious things. How about a pecan pie Belgian waffle? Croque Monsieur, house smoked salmon. The bagels are awesome. We'll talk more about that later. Honey granola, chicken and waffles, that thing everybody oh. seems to love. Smoked salmon, arugula, beet, and deviled egg salad. There's the chicken and waffles. Mm, look oh. at that. And how about a shrimp and sausage sandwich, which is described as a cross between a New England lobster roll and a shrimp poor boy. Well, I'm on for that sandwich. <laughs> and then they do weekend brunch there, different menu every week, and it's one of the best deals. Three courses and cocktails for just $20. Wow. Then... We're, oh, and also you can take cooking class classes from Scott. I almost Earhart, forgot. what, near Carrollton? Earhart, or? just almost when you're getting on the expressway, in that big brick building, you know, that oh, gigantic, yeah. it's right sure. in there where okay. the fitness center is. Oh, yes. So yes. next Friday, he's offering a cooking class. He's doing this on a regular basis, 7 till 9. It's only $30 for a hands-on, technique-driven cooking class with Scott, concluding, of course, with a dinner with wine. Mm. And then on Magazine Street, the new Maple Street Patisserie, and Delhi have opened. Mm -hmm. They're there every day from 6.30 until 3. Bagels galore. You know, Ziggy's from Miami, New York. He knows how to do the bagel. And also, real deli sandwiches like in-house smoked pastrami and a grilled Reuben with sauerkraut, Russian dressing, and Swiss cheese on marbled rye. That's in the former location of where Art's Bagels was. So if you've been missing your bagels on Magazine Street, trust me, these are some killer bagels. And then I also wanted to mention that if you missed your summer vacation, I have a great trip idea for you. First of all, you can travel through your taste buds to Morocco and take a fantasy Moroccan voyage with Susan Spicer at Bayona on September the 23rd, 7 p.m., only $75. You'll get a trio of vegetable salads, a fried fish with olives and preserved lemon, lamb tagine, something you hardly ever find, havla, 
wine pairings, and a fresh spearmint tea cocktail. But the best news is wow. that if you go to this dinner, you will get the scoop on a real cooking safari to Morocco with Susan Spicer herself in early March of 2015. It's the trip of a lifetime. Oh my goodness, thank wow. you Poppy, wow. <laughs> and we turn to Armand and we, we hadn't seen you in a while so we wanted you to come back on a visit. Well, it's so <laughs> happy to be here, thank <laughs> and, you. And we're thrilled, but um, sadly we have to say that we lost the amazing record producer Cosmo Matassa. I know, and Cosmo uh, is unparalleled uh, in, in music in America and music in New Orleans. He touched so many uh, people here in New Orleans, and there's a great quote from Alan Toussaint who said, it's an ocean out there, and rivers lead to the ocean, and our river to the ocean is Cosmo Matassa. Mm. Yeah. Isn't that beautiful from, and from Alan Toussaint? And my goodness, uh, Professor Longhair, I mean, the list is long. <sighs> Fats Domino, the list is really long. Everybody you can think of in New Orleans yeah. recorded and, and, there. And I know you're going to um, do a little tribute to him a little bit later, but let's talk about you, what you've been up to, and we're going to show sort of the record covers of some of oh, your, your CDs as well. But you've been keeping busy. I know you have your you had your annual Katrina tribute. Right. Every year uh, for nine years, Patty Lee, who produces it, and myself put on Katrina Artistically Revisited where we have films, songs, uh, photography, books. And this year we had uh, Ron Thibodeau, the writer, you know, from the North Shore. Mm -hmm. he, had, he presented his book um, and music. And it's a great thing. And next year, of course, the Big Tenth is going to be a real big deal, yeah. the 10th anniversary. Now, last week we had Alfred Richard on to talk about all the movie and TV production news. Oh, and yes. And you can speak from experience in terms of the, the use of local musicians' uh, music. Tell us a little bit about your some of your personal experience. Well, one of my songs has been in three different productions. It's, it's funny how one song has these legs, but uh, my song Storyville Blues, which I'd like to do later, mm -hmm. Good. Uh, has been in uh, Kayville, uh, Treme, and in a movie called uh, Brawler. And and the funny thing is, is K. Bill, you were asking me how, to, how does it happen, and they called me on a Thursday from from Los Angeles and said we'd like to use that song in uh, in K. Bill. And I said, well, fine. That's the same with the contract. So they faxed it over, signed it, and faxed it back on Friday. And Monday, I said. Well, I better turn the show on and just to get familiar with it. I turned it on and bang, there's the song. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, that was fast. They moved fast. And then it was also in Treme, huh? It was in Treme, uh, and, and Patty Lee had worked very hard uh, pitching stuff to them. Your wife, Patty Lee, my your wife, producer Patty and wife. My wife, Patty Lee, uh -huh. uh -huh. so much of what I do. And, and she had been pitching to them for four years. We finally got it in the last episode. You so. in the last, <laughs> the know, last so episode. We just made it under the wire right. there. Uh -huh. yeah. And I know you play around all the time, but one of your more intriguing gigs was recently <laughs> at the airport, wasn't it? Yes, I played uh, the Zatarain's concession there. It's, it's a little disorienting to be playing at the airport because, you know, when I'm at the airport, I'm doing one thing. I'm going as fast as I can to get on that airplane. But people actually stop and have a drink and have a sandwich and listen to music and, and we have a good time. Yeah, and then I, I got it. people coming into New Orleans and, and welcome them to the city. So we, I know we'll let you get ready uh, for this tribute to Cosmo. The and he's Cosmo. somebody who's going to be so missed, isn't he? Oh, oh my goodness. Uh, you can't imagine all the things he did. And he was recording probably with one microphone, the whole band gathered, you know, Leaning into the mic, backing out, of course, and they take a lot of takes until they got the one. And, and there was a great story about Cosmo where he walked into the studio and heard a track being played. I guess someone else was recording it, and he says, Well, that's a hit. He had that knack. Uh, you know, yeah. you well, we'll let you move on to the other side of the studio, and it's now going to be time to hear from, in this, with this wonderful tribute, we're going to miss <coughs> Cosmo Matassa, who was around for so many years, and of course, his family ha and continues to have Cosmos in the quarter, but let's hear from Armand St. Martin. We put together a little tribute for Cosmo Matassa, great New Orleanian. Something you got. Makes me work all day With something you got, baby it Makes me bring on my pain But I can't eat And I can't sleep Since you walked out on me well, Holy cow, what you doing to me? Cause I'm sitting in la la waiting yeah, yeah, uh -huh. I'm sitting in la la waiting for my yeah, yeah, uh -huh. Oh, it's raining so hard. The 
looks like it's gonna rain all night And this is the time I'd love to be holding you tight Cha-cha-cha Ooh, ah-ah-ah ta ti ta da Every time we cha-cha-cha The lipstick traces On a cigarette All it is a memories All with a me Oh, well, they call me They call me the fat man Cause I weigh 200 pounds And all the women that love me love me Cause I know my way around You went away a long time ago Now you're knocking on my door I hear you knocking But you can't come in recorded by good old Cosmo, and we appreciate Armand's uh, tribute to him. That was just great. And now that we move over, I love our color coordination here, Miss mm -hmm. Cheryl. As if we okay. planned it. Yeah. I'm telling you, how long have you been doing uh, the, the, the New Orleans Children's Chorus, which of course is many choruses in one, isn't many it? Many choruses. Well, I started with one choir in 1984 with the youth chorale, which is the high school age. And um, in 1987, I took over the children's chorus and then I combined them and made them into a nonprofit, a 501c3 Well you've got a lot of alums including one of our favorite young ladies Sarah Jane McMahon Yes, who is, uh, I've sang with this for quite a long time starting when she was about nine <laughs> That's incredible, yes. and Sarah and, Jane. And, and Brian Emel, who's a oh. really wonderful tenor, making quite a career for himself. And uh, Well, I know that you're now looking. You have some slots available for do. the chorus these We're days, taking huh? new singers into the choir all through September. We've started rehearsals just this week. Mm -hmm. But um, we're looking for kids ages 5 through 18. Not all in the same choir, obviously, uh -huh. <laughs> but uh, we do have four different ones to accommodate them. And the main thing I wanted to say is that we're not looking just for the most talented kids. We're looking for kids who want to sing and who want to have the experience of performing both in New Orleans and on our tour destinations. And we have mm -hmm. been to Carnegie Hall several times and traveled internationally and done various other things. So it's a great social experience, a friendship experience, and a musical learning experience. Yeah, so it has to be something that, that um, children will enjoy. It's not like necessarily that they're going on to Carnegie Hall, even though that could happen. That but, could happen, yeah. <laughs> you never know. You never know. So what's a good contact information for you on uh, that? 504-482-2883 mm -hmm. is our office number. Uh, we have a website, neworleanschildrenscourse.org, and uh, we also have, you could email nocc787 at bellsouth.net. Well, great. And now, though, we would like to play from your um, most, most recent CD one of the songs. Give us the name of the song. Is it May the Road Rise to yes, Me Too? Yes, yes. It's our signature song. We sing it at the end of every concert and have since 1998. Oh, I love it. So here's a little montage of scenes from her courses. Let's take a look.
once again that contact information 4822883 and the CD is available at your CD office is available isn't it? you uh, all are in Lakeview your yes, office yes it's, it's a retrospective CD of 25 years worth of music making how wonderful thank well, you congratulations but thanks. you're looking for some young folks right now yes some new young people who want to sing and that's all that's the only qualification and they I, want to sing I encourage all the moms out there to bring their daughters and their sons out because it changed Maddie's life it was a huge I my daughter, your daughter was a member my daughter was a member for a long time and it was really one of the most special experiences she had yeah. in middle school and grade school it was fantastic nice to hear thank you and oh. we turn thank you dear thank, thank you. you and we turn to Alan well we have so to, talk to talk about about, about four people Vanya and Sonia <laughs> and Masha and Spike. That's the start. So Christopher Durang is a really talented writer. I know that some people would, would tend to wonder about these colorful characters that he's created and the spoken lines that they have, but I have to say that, that it is due to the fact that he's writing for people who are the byproducts, if you will, of professors who named their children after Chekhov characters, of course. <laughs> so uh, they're living in a, in a house. Martin Covert plays Vanya, and his sister Sonia is played by Susan Chumate. And I have to tell you, they, they live in this house that is being paid for essentially by none other than Masha, their older sister. They also have a wonderful housekeeper who is a little bit of a voodoo practitioner <laughs> named uh, uh, Cassandra, oddly enough, who uh, nobody believes any of the things she says, but of course she is clairvoyant. Uh, Idella Johnson <laughs> plays that role and she's wonderful. It's a great character role. She's comic relief for what is already a lot of comedy in this. Uh, Vanya is living his humdrum life uh, without a partner. He is a gay man, and his sister Sonia has yet to find a man to satisfy her needs. They've given up their entire life for the basis of, of essentially taking care of their ill parents. Their parents are gone now, and they have nothing essentially for themselves. So uh, essentially, when Masha comes on the scene, she has a boy toy in tow named Spike, <laughs> uh, played by Jake Wynn Wilson, and uh, he is a little bit of some beefcake there for the audience. He does a little handstand, etc. But it's a, it's, a, it's a great little get-together. I think Ron Garrell did a great job uh, uh, directing this farcical play. Of course, Masha's played by uh, Cassie Steck Worley. It did win the Tony Award for Best Play in uh, 2013, and the characters I, I really, again, uh, find very compelling, very brilliantly written. And again, uh, if you want to have a couple of laughs, have an enjoyable time, Le Petit Theater is where the place is. And uh, again, as, as Peggy was mentioning, uh, Tableau's right next door if you want to grab a drink beforehand. <laughs> Let's move on to, uh, uh, you know, essentially uh, a, a new iteration of a play that, that came out as monologue. This is Katrina, the mother-in-law of them all. And uh, this is being presented at the Bayou Playhouse in Lockport. I actually went to this show uh, uh, last week during the Saints game, and, and I know that uh, probably was the reason they lost, I'm sorry to say. But uh, anyway, Katrina's Path and Katrina's Voices were the previous uh, titles for this, but they were then monologues. They were rewritten by playwright Rob Florence and directed by Perry Martin. Uh, I have to tell you that, that they've really intricately woven, woven these, these wonderful stories. Each one of the characters gets to talk a little bit about his life, what happened uh, during the storm with him or her, and, and then what happens is, of course, some of the other characters will play other roles, speaking parts, in their reminiscence. It's really lo lovely. Troy Bechet plays herself as Antoinette Cado, the wow. proprietor of the Mother-in-Law Lounge. Customers include Travis Rezor as Rodney, mm. and Janet Shea as Judy, Zeb Hollins III as Raymond, a black man who's upended by the storm, and uh, let's not mention uh, uh, lightly John Spud McConnell, who plays Sonny, wow. and of course uh, he's uh, uh, playing uh, essentially the character of, of Sidney Smith, my cousin, who is a tour group operator, mm. uh, and he gets stuck uptown and has some wonderful uh, occurrences that uh, that happen to him in trying to get out of town and uh, all the things that, that revolve about that. So all the original stories are real, they're very compelling, they have a certain amount of humor and pathos to them. Uh, the music is evocative of New Orleans, of course. Um, it's worth the drive. If you want to get to uh, Lockport, it's about an hour or so drive, but it's, it's real worth it and you'll love it. You know what we did one time when we were going up there um, for our Saturday night performances, went to Spars, Pleasure Pond, uh -huh. Spars along the way. It's delicious. Good. Yeah, delicious. Uh -huh. So I want to also talk about something with the Anthony Bean Community Theater. We mentioned uh, last week that they were having a fundraiser, and you can check that out by checking our show from last week online. But uh, last year they finished, they completed the cycle of 10 plays that August Wilson had done called the Pittsburgh Cycle. And again, uh, you would think that they'd be done with it. Well, no. Anthony is deciding to do a new cycle. So mm -hmm. he's, he's redoing it. He's presenting two trains running. 
This is the uh, first play that will kick off the next cycle of 10. And the sixth play that uh, August Wilson wrote, it takes place in the 1960s. And again, um, just mention the fact that uh, uh, this is dealing with prejudice. The uh, characters are basically people who have gone from the south to the north, and they experience real prejudice, real hatred, all kinds of problems that manifest themselves during the period of the 1960s. The play features the Wilsonian players, including Harold X. Evans and Roscoe Reddix. Again, that's going to be playing at the Anthony Bean Community Theater uptown. Also, great news coming on right now that we just heard the Broadway at Le Petit series, the Mark Cartali Productions, <coughs> presenting none other than Joanna Gleason. Wow. And she's going to be playing with Well Strong. Now, Joanna, if you remember, she won the Tony Award for oh, Into yeah. the Woods. She played the Baker's Wife. Ooh. Wonderful, a, a, a great, great <coughs> performing actress, a great singer. And uh, she's going to be there with Well Strong, of course, a little bit for you <laughs> ladies out there uh, who enjoy uh, having your, uh, your strings played uh, ever so well. <laughs> and uh, again, uh, just mentioning that, that that's the first of the series. They're going to have several other people, including Christine Ebersol, uh, closing it out. So you pay attention. Make sure that you mark your calendars for that. Check out their, their website. So now at Le Petit, as opposed to the Lupin Theater last That's season. correct. Okay. But they had that's a partnership, a if you will, between NOCA mm -hmm. and them. But but the problem, of course, is that NOCA, it's, it's a teaching facility, and it's difficult <laughs> to get in. Things And, and, and uh, I, I think that also they were not able to avail themselves of a lot of the stars who were going to perform and give master classes. A lot of that didn't happen, so I think Little Petite's a better a better okay. fit. Okay, well, yeah. great. Thank you, Ellen. And now it's time, though, for our artist spotlight. Tonight we're featuring two pieces. The first is called Gray Ghost Number no. Two, and that's by Russ Lunds, a Vicksburg, Mississippi native. Lunds earned his MFA with the concentration on metal smithing from the University of Kansas. A New Orleans resident for over a decade, he is a New Orleans fireman. The second artwork is a fluorite leaf necklace, isn't that beautiful, by Catherine DeYoung. Originally from Cleveland, DeYoung studied metals <coughs> at the Cleveland Institute of Art, where she discovered enameling and she uses colors that reflect the vibrant use of houses in New Orleans, now her home. Both artists are part of the White Light Art Show. Featuring emerging artists in New Orleans combining art and technology, the works display the color spectrum. On view through September 28th at the studio, the M Studio, that is, on Julia Street. Visit whereyouart.com, I'd rather, to see more of that exhibit. And you can visit wis.org to see our online calendar, including the Fine Arts Auction Preview Party at Martin Lawrence Gallery. That's tomorrow evening. And you can also go to wis.org to see our program online. New Orleans Magazine's quiz queen, Julia Street, has a question for us. Last time, Peggy Simmons gave us the names of the quarterback and the place kicker who played for both the Saints and the Falcons, Bobby Bear and Morton Anderson. We miss Morton Anderson. And now tonight's question. This Navy ship was built in New Orleans utilizing some steel from the World Trade Center. At what shipyard was it christened, and what is the ship's name? Email your answers to steppinout at wis.org. Our prizes, a Louisiana Life magazine subscription, a gift certificate for two courtesy of Vianne's Tea House, offering their culinary and gourmet tea experience. And tonight, we have an apron is worn by WIS staffer Aislinn Hinyup with the message, Lawrence of Arugula from our <laughs> friends at wearablevegetables.com. And now our picks, Armand. Well, uh, believe it or not, tomorrow is the New Orleans Rodeo. And Mickey Gilly will be performing there. He's a wonderful performer. Uh, He's a friend of ours, and uh, he's got great Where music. Where is it? Where is it? No. At the New Orleans Arena. Okay, great. As a matter of fact, he recorded for Cosmo in 1959 and was released on Cosmo's Rex label. Oh, my goodness. All right, thank you. Poppy. Tomorrow, downriver to the Mighty Mississippi River Festival. It's uh, at the Old Mint, the French mm -hmm. Market. Fun. Okay, Cheryl. I don't have anything this week, but September 28th, <laughs> September 28th, the New Orleans Vocal Arts Chorale, uh, a group of Professional and non-professional musicians will present a free concert, Christchurch Cathedral, 3 p.m. All right, and you're in it. Aren't, I'm don't in you? it. Yes. You're in the corral. Wonderful. Alan. You know, with the death of Cosmo Matessa, it reminds me that Butch Care, his production of Blueberry Hill, is opening up tonight, and he plays the role of, of Cosmo. But but the one show that I want everybody to know about opening this weekend, Shrek, the musical at Rivertown Theaters of the Performing Arts, should be a wonderful, wonderful show. Looking mm. forward to it. Thank you. And now my wow. picks. You can support WYS by attending the Fab Four concert, honoring the Beatles. Visit to Tad Gormley Stadium in City Park 50 years ago to the date. It's next Tuesday, September 16th. Visit WYS.org for more information. 
demolition. And here is a photograph of the demolition of the Orleans Parish Criminal Court in prison that is incredible. It's in the 1930s. It's across from the Pythian Temple right there on Loyola Avenue. Also pictured there, there's a Pythian Temple. And they're both included in, uh, in the New Orleans Public Library, which is the site of uh, where the court and the prison was. And there's a brand new exhibit called From Common and Basin to Tulane and Loyola, opening next Wednesday, that's next Wednesday evening, with a talk by author Keith Weldon Medley. And there'll be a reception at 6.30 with the presentation starting at 7 o'clock at the Main Library Auditorium. Visit NewOrleansPublicLibrary.org for more information on that. And looking ahead, jazz pianist and vocalist Matt Lemler a play at the Jefferson Parish East Bank Regional Library in Metairie, and that's on September 22nd. And visit his website for more information on that. And next week we will not be on because of Ken Burns' series on the Roosevelts. But we'll be back the week after that. And now, though, it is time to visit once again with Armand because we'll leave you with his original composition, Storyville Blues. Thank you so much for watching, and good night. We go down on Basin Street Where all the red light fall Yes, anyone you meet, man Where's my hog and hog? But everybody knows the place You can't miss it at all Find trouble, or you might find a jelly roll. The story village lawless. It's out of control. Underneath a lamp post, you know I found my business. You know, this can break your heart, fellas. I said, now, why don't you just come on home, girl? This place ain't right for you. And she laughed in my face. And her voice was kind of thin like tin. She said, oh, honey, there's no going back again. I said, see, Billy, see, Billy, see, Billy, see, Billy, see, Billy. Well, take a look at yourself, girl, and see what Storyville has done to you. Support for this program comes from the French Market District, six historic blocks of retail and dining in the French Quarter. They offer a variety of shopping and dining experiences complete with live music and local produce, artwork, jewelry, and gifts open daily. Find special event and parking information at frenchmarket.org.